What's up everybody, I'm Matt. And I'm Beth. And today we're gonna to be reviewing the interior in the 2021 Toyota Camry. So the Toyota Camry got a little bit of a refresh here for 2021. On the outside, it is extremely mild and even someone like us, I mean, we're experts and even us, it's hard to tell the difference between a 2020 and a 2021. But one important thing that is changed here for 2021 is that you can now get an XSE hybrid. Previously, the hybrid um, wasn't available with that sportiest XSE trim. Now it is, so that's a cool combo that you can get now. Otherwise, all the other trims and engines and all that are all the same as before. And I've already covered uh, the TRD version of the camera as well as an XSE V6. I'm not gonna cover the hybrid since I know most of you aren't into hybrids too much, um, but I also did cover recently an all-wheel drive version uh, at the beginning of this year and so if you're curious to hear what a slower version without the v6 is like in the uh, camry then you can go check out that all-wheel drive review um so uh we're just going to go over the interior here because that's the biggest change here for 2021 so the main highlights are this screen it has this new screen uh which we'll get to in a minute uh and as well as a few trim changes but uh that's really the biggest thing but you can see it makes a drastic difference here the appearance of this whole center area and i think it's a change for the better yeah it definitely makes the car look way newer way more high-tech way more exciting because somebody who likes all of your tech stuff this is really nice yeah it's definitely a little bit better with a bigger screen and stuff but anyway first thing just cover all the basics here you have the seats in the uh, XSE version which are these perforated um, it's leather like material it's not real leather and it doesn't feel like real leather to me it's a little cheaper feeling but it is soft although I think the middle of the seat is like strangely firmer than the sides the sides seem like really plus and then the I just feel like the center is like a little bit firmer than I would like. Yeah, it kind of seems like it, but I'm really comfortable in them. I feel like they're really soft. The, the bolstering there is not really bolstering because it is really... It's kind of mild. Yeah, it, because it is really soft, you know? So, yeah. you know, it might be bolstering, might not be bolstering, might just be there for fun. But um, yeah, I think they're really... A little bit. Yeah, they're comfortable. And I remember you were complaining in the TRD that you were sliding all over the place in this uh, as well. So the bolstering does leave a little bit to be desired if you're going for you know an actual sporty Camry. Uh, but I actually think I like the cloth in the TRD better. It seemed a little bit softer than this leather does. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't remember, but <laughs> these are nice. Yeah, and so you also do get heated seats here with the XSE trim. You can option ventilated seats too if you'd like, although this one does not have that option. Uh, but anyway, nice seats nonetheless. Also, one good thing about this XSE trim is that you do get those power seats, which is way better than the manual in my opinion. But the one thing I'm not crazy about is that I still feel like I'm sitting just a little too high. Yeah, it's kind of strange. I mean, because you can go up and down and I mean... You can definitely go up and down, but I'm down all the way and I still feel like I'm sitting kind of high. Yeah, so. and that might also be uh, compounded by the fact we have a moonroof here, which is an option. And so that's going to cut it on your headroom a little bit. So maybe if you have tall passes you might want to skip the moonroof or something. I mean, you have headroom still. It's just not Yeah, I, I have headroom, but I don't know. It might just be me too. I have a very long torso, so it might be that too. Yeah. So anyway, you want to just make sure you sit it and uh, make sure it works for you. But anyway, moving on to the steering wheel here in the uh, XSC. So it's a nice leather wrapped wheel. You have your basic Toyota buttons here in the front of it, uh, including your adaptive cruise buttons. And that is one of the little improvement for 2021 is that you now gets a Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 plus which is um, the newest version of this and so that allows you to have full speed cruise control so it will go down to a stop it also can now identify cy cyclists and uh, pedestrians better um, and does do better automatic emergency braking than before and a couple other features the lane trace assist and all that is a little bit better and they say now that whenever using adaptive cruise if you put your turn signal on it will start to pick up speed a little bit as you're doing the lane change so that whole thing is a little bit smoother than before so some nice improvements there but anyway the steering wheel itself has a great nine and three grip a little paddle shift here on the back of the wheel since this is the XSE version and overall still a really nice wheel the gauges here now these are the unique hybrid gauges that's why it looks a little different than regular Camry gauges so instead of a tack you have this power meter here which will help you to kind of hypermile a little bit and you know keep it in that eco range is gonna give you the best fuel economy but also will show you whenever the batteries are charging and if you do want to see a little bit more info you can actually go to the center screen which is nice and large here in the XSE and so that is I believe a seven inch display 
display and that will um, give you a little power meter thing showing you you know where, whether it's charging the battery or the batteries propelling you or what you know that's typical if you've seen other Toyotas ever since the Prius was first introduced so you have that kind of thing there it also will give you your trip information fuel economy all those types of things your safety tech also it'll show you your uh, audio and uh, you know all those types of things there so that's nice to have you can even get a heads-up display here in the Camry but this one does not have that feature but uh, that's the cool thing I believe it's a 10 inch head-up display too which is pretty impressive but yes coming back over to this center of the dashboard here I mean the big news is this screen and so this is the nicest version of it this is a 9 inch screen uh, which is an upgrade because the previous XSE top screen was an 8 inch display and of course it was a totally different setup and so this is basically the same exact screen you get in the new RAV4 so if you've seen that then you've already experienced this and uh, I love the way this integrated though because you know they drop the air vents down here beneath the screen but for me it was really annoying because with the old setup you had a volume knob that was way high up here in the upper left and I always got the uh, climate control knobs confused because they were all kind of in the same area and it wasn't quite as clear this having the volume and two knobs you know right there on the actual screen itself is much more logical and I don't think I'll be reaching for this climate control knob to turn up the volume like I did on the uh, Camrys in the past so that's a great improvement you know having the nice little hard buttons here and the display is really nice now if you go for a base Camry you still get this nice new redesigned screen but it's only a seven inch display so it's the smaller version but it's basically just a smaller screen size it gives you all the same features you still have standard Apple CarPlay and Android Auto uh, built in although it is still wired they do not do wireless yet here in the Camry for 2021 even though many other car companies these days uh, are including that for the 2021 model year uh, Camry is not just yet um, so that's one important thing to note, especially since like the Accord for 2021 does have wireless smartphone integration. You know, I mean, all the graphics and stuff are a little lower res than some of the uh, fanciest competitors these days, especially like the new Sonata Hybrid. I mean, that has a really impressive, very slick looking 10 inch uh, screen. And so that even one ups this by a good bit as well. But, uh, you know, it's just nice and simple to going through your radio stations and stuff. Nice, easy volume and tune knobs. And I don't have any complaints with it. But I do also like that all the buttons are a little bit smaller than they were in the TRD version that we did have. So I definitely like that. Yeah, and by the way, speaking about that TRD version, it also does get the same new interior here. So if you know you didn't love the screen setup in the TRD in 2020, 2021 TRD, which does continue on here for this new model year, we'll get this uh, nice new screen as well. Although I believe it's probably gonna be the smaller seven inch one since the TRD kind of has a more basic interior, but at least you get the uh, you know better setup here personally. I think it's a huge improvement. So that's great. And then moving beyond that, you still have the same uh, climate control as you had in cameras in the past, uh, just the two knobs there basic little screen and that's about it nice and simple and then coming beneath that uh, you start on all your uh, storage spaces here so you'll see you have a USB jack and you also have a normal power outlet in here behind these little covers then you have this wireless charging pad that's something you get here on these XSC version and some of these higher trims the XLE and stuff the passenger is going to have a very hard time reaching anything in there it is really not easy for me to be grabbing anything especially if there's drinks in the cup holders and it's just basically not a place that I would be able to access very often yeah, so the main reason why that's a problem is because of this goofy design that they have here uh, with this whole center console area and uh, it's just I don't know I still don't know this would have been a perfect opportunity since they were redoing all this to just cut this down and just make this a normal square opening you know? exactly and uh, so it's kind of I mean I get that they wanted I guess continue on with this design theme still but uh, yeah it's just not great from an accessibility standpoint if you have a drink in that cup holder like you said uh, but if you do want to move this uh, charging pad out of the way you do have a little bit of a deeper bin in here and so that's a good amount of space and that's a little bit better than what you have know, some of the competing vehicles which don't have a bin that large in the front here so that's nice like I said you do have those two cup holders and then you also have this center armrest uh, which does have some padding to it but there is hard plastic beneath that so it's softer than some but I still wish it was maybe a little bit thicker with the padding there. Yeah, it's definitely not as soft, especially on the passenger side too, because you have this row of stitching, which if your elbow is there, it might 
get annoying. And then also on the other side of that, you have way thinner padding, I feel like, than there is on the other side. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice that. It's like an extra layer on this part and less on that. So that's not very nice. Yeah, so if your elbow is like kind of on the corner like mine is right now, you might not be able to enjoy it as much as you would if you were the driver. So anyway, but whenever you open up that center armrest, thankfully it does open in the middle here so we can both access it. You'll see a nice large bin in here that has a regular USB jack and a new addition here is now you have a USB-C jack so you can have much faster phone charging there with that hookup and so it's great that they've added that here. That's uh, I think a first Toyota I've seen with a USB-C so that's a nice addition and a really good amount of space there. You'll also see there's pockets in the doors with a bottle cut out. So yeah I mean as far as storage space goes I think the Camry's right up there with you know all the others as being very good and you know one of the best in this class I think. Um, and so one thing though that isn't uh, my favorite is some of the materials. This would have been a great opportunity with this refresh also to improve the materials. Now you do have this little new piece of trim here and that depending on which uh, trim level of the camera you get that trim piece will change and be different things. And then you still have the nice padding you know here on the passenger side and you know like you have padding at your knee area which I do not have. It's still hard plastic over here. Would have been nice for them to improve that. Put a little strip of you know padding there since you know some of the other competing vehicles do have something nicer here. Um, you know, so, you know, I do like the screen. That was the main thing, and that's the thing that most people are going to appreciate the most uh, because yeah, that's what you use every day. But I still just wish they would have upped the game a little bit more because this one, as tested, is just under $37,000. And whenever you look at fully loaded versions of an Accord, I feel like they have nicer materials with some metal knobs. There's less plastic in the Accord. The Sonata just wows you with its tech, with its digital gauges, its huge screens. And the materials are really nice in the Sonata as well. You know, there's just a lot of stuff. Mazda 6 even, which is pretty old at this point, but that also has more padding and feels a little more luxurious for the same money, although you can't get a hybrid in the Mazda 6, but you can in all the others. And so that's kind of, you know, my one little thing that I wish this felt a little bit nicer and so I just kind of wish this in this refresh did a little bit more than just swap screens you know yeah it is pretty crazy that you could be refreshing a car and then not really do a whole lot I guess I mean I get that they don't want to mess with the success the Camry sells great and people like it the way it is and people are opposed to change um, but it just I don't think anyone would complain if you had you know some nicer materials and stuff exactly you know? so, yeah uh, but I guess, you know, there's always the new version in a couple of years, hopefully, that can, uh, you know, kind of upgrade this interior to where hopefully, you know, it can be, you know, best in class at some point. But, um, yeah, and then moving on to the back seat here in the Camry, it is very good. That is one spot where it's still very um, impressive. So you have uh, plenty of leg room. I'm five foot nine. I'm sitting behind myself. I have about five inches of legroom to spare back there. I mean, plenty of space, good amount of headroom as well. There's also a fold down center armrest with two cup holders in them. There's bottle holders in the doors and there are air vents whenever you look forward here in these higher trims, like the TRD that we, we reviewed did not have the air vents or the center armrest. Um, so this one does have both of those. And those seats do fold flat here in the XSE and the TRD, they do not fold flat. Um, so two little things to note there, but otherwise it's a really soft, comfortable back seat um, but even with this top XSC trim there aren't any heated rear seats and that is something you can start to get and those top trims of some of the competitors and so that would be nice to you know have someday as well but in the meantime you know still a pretty good back seat you know for an average family sedan truck space in the Camry is also really good it's a nice wide long space very competitive with everything else in this class of vehicle and so overall you know just a really good amount of truck space there but yeah, that's about all our thoughts here on the interior in the 2021 Camry. Um, you know, so like we've said, it's it's a nice improvement. This screen is a great improvement, and I'm really glad that they you know have it you know updated and everything. But this still just yeah, this feels a little bit dated even still because this screen you know has the lower resolution graphics and stuff. It just I don't know. It just doesn't feel like a 2021 model year still to me. It like, could be a little bit better. I think. Yeah, it could definitely use some improvements. The competition these days is just so, so strong um, with all the others out there. Um, you know, even though some people think sedans are dying, there's still tons of people buying sedans and there's a, it's really uh, you know competitive these days. And so uh, hopefully Toyota can do a little bit more in the future. But the screen is a huge improvement and a really nice uh, you know thing they redesigned that. So anyway, let us know your thoughts on the interior of the 2021 Camry in the comments below. Thank you guys very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Take, Take care. care.